Hello everybody. I figured it was a minute since I did a book review and I had talked about this book prior so I figured this would be a good one to start with for this week. And I got a, another pigeon book I'm going to be covering um, in another video so be sure to look for that. So this book here is called The Encyclopedia of Pigeon Breeds. It was written by Wendell Levi originally in 1965 and the copy I have was a republish in 1996 and just a little bit here about the author um, or pigeons in general the preface was by W.F. Hollander who has also written some books and he was a professor of genetics at the Iowa State University in Ames this book, as you can see, is not light reading. And here's here's a little bit about uh, the author. I'm just gonna set that there so you can take a look at it and read it. Anyway, um, the problem with this book that I have mainly there's two problems. One, for the person who's starting out it's cost prohibitive and I understand why I mean a book of this magnitude and this undertaking and the knowledge that's in it in my opinion it's worth every penny but it's definitely a reference book it's not one of these little five or ten dollar books um, matter of fact the copy I got was back in the 90s and um, Back then, these were running for about $100 a piece. I've seen them sell for more. I've seen them sell for less. I do believe it is currently out of print, but you can still come across it on eBay and places like that. However, as a reference book, it is fantastic. And I'm not going to go through the entire thing because, um, you know, copyright and all that kind of thing. But I'm going to thumb through a few little sections here and pages. Uh, contents. He goes into kind of man's history with the birds, what pigeons need. He covers feed, how to build a pigeon loft, how to build the equipment for it, uh, ailments, genetics, etc., etc. And then he gets into the individual breeds. So, unfortunately, I lent it out and it got kind of messed up. Let's see here. So in here, it's got some information regarding um, old mineral mixes and that kind of thing. There's a lot of things nowadays that we can get already pre-made. Um, winter feed, summer feed, how to feed them. Here's some feeders that he had designed. Uh, and you know don't feel like you got to be fancy I don't know if that's gonna focus or not on the words but it says um, discarded boxes piled on each other made an inexpensive loft for the author in 1902 and then here's a racing pigeon loft uh, from New York diagrams for building a loft a list of materials that you need anything from a very small loft to a very large loft talks about building nests feeders waterers all kinds of things so now the real gem of this book and here's some uh, genetics for pattern and body type but the real gem of this book and why everybody covets this book is this was as the title says, the encyclopedia. I mean, the number of breeds represented in this book in color is insane. And that brings me to my other complaint about this book, however, which is in this reprint, the choices of ink and paper combination um, 
I don't feel were made um, with long term archive quality uh, materials in mind. This book, I had it a few years, and when I was growing up, my bedroom was next to the furnace, and the heat caused the pigments in some of these images to start to discolor and bleed, and even stain the page next to it. So you'll see I've got these pieces of parchment paper in between pages um, to keep it from getting worse. You can see on this pigeon here, perhaps, uh, she's turning blue. It's a white bird, but she's turning blue. And that's to slow it down and to keep it from staining the other page. This one's got a black smudge here as a result. But there are breeds that a lot of people had never seen in America. And I think, honestly, it inspired people to start importing some of these breeds over time. The other thing I like about this is every bird is well documented underneath. It tells you the breed, the color, the leg band, who owned it, who took the photo, etc. And there's birds from all over the world in here, uh, case in point, New Jersey, Switzerland, I'm just going to cut across through here, uh, New Zealand, California, East Germany, Switzerland, Scotland, Taiwan, North Carolina, Texas, Wyoming, Baghdad, Madrid, North Hollywood. I mean, it, it literally is a compendium. And there's a write-up of each breed. They try to talk about the origin, if it's known, describe the breed, and then there's comments about the breed. So I'm just going to do a quick kind of thumb through here so you can get an idea. I mean, this book is practically so full of photographs. And they're all taken by professional photographers. So if you're real serious about pigeons and you like having a loss with a lot of variety and it's something that you think you're going to be into for a long time, I would recommend tracking down a copy of this book. If it's uh, something where you're more specialized in your breeds, there are other pigeon books out there and there are books for beginners. Um, Hopefully I'll get some copies of those this summer uh, because I figure I might as well read them myself since it's been so long I've, since I've had pigeons that I kind of feel like I'm beginning all over again. And I currently don't have any, but I want to read up on it and build the loft before I start buying the birds. So, so that is one of the two pigeon books I'm going to be covering uh, the next one, I'll probably release the video, um, oh, I don't know yet, maybe next week, maybe in a couple of weeks, just to spread them out, but thanks for watching, and uh, have fun.